What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another standard video. We got Mardu humans coming in here. Um, we're, we're fully committed. I've seen some decks that are Mardu humans that were like, eh, you know, we're running some stuff. We got a night sub theme, yada yada. But I'm like, no, I'm full on humans. We got hero. We got 90% of the other deck, parts of the deck, making uh, human tokens. They get pumped by Kudro. They get pumped by Judith. They get pumped by Tajik. We're going hard. Fireblade Artists can shoot them at your opponent's face. Stormfist Crusader, make sure that you're getting more gas. And we have Icon of Ancestry, which also pumps our tokens. So we can have like 1-1, uh, 2-2, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, three human tokens. Like, how sick would that be, right? Also, this is, I mean... Hopefully it doesn't get to that point, but it can be an engine, quote-unquote, to help you draw into more creatures. Since, you know, every creature on deck is a human. I just wanted to go ham on this and see just how quickly. Because if you go turn one Venerable Knight, turn two Hero, turn three Tajik or Judith, like, <laughs> you're, you're doing some things already, man. And the General's Enforcer is just a super awesome piece to keep your Kudro, Judith, and Tajik alive. It's, and if you have Enforcer and Tajik out against like a red deck, like what are they supposed to do, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it's a pretty awesome piece. I mean, I guess it could die in combat, but whatever. <sighs> yeah, super excited to uh, smash some face. We do have um, the Triumph as a tap land. I just think having correct mana on this is too important. Um, it's kind of rough to have a uh, tap lands in a deck like this, but I think it's worth it. We'll see if that holds up. Catch you guys in game one. Okay, we're up against Yorion again. Who would have guessed, man? Who would have thought? Man, playing against Yorion, that's... <laughs> Chances are one in a million. So, we got Crusader. Probably play that first, hit some land drops. Um, and then hope to go to good places from there. If it's Jess Guy, try to get Tajik down as soon as possible. There's a chance I might go Enforcer first if I hit a land this upcoming turn. That way I can have these two around, and then we can't get hit by sweepers. And so, yeah, I think in that case, I'm actually, I'm just going to play him. <clears throat> Hoping to hit that land. Probably has an omen. Or birth of Miletus. Makes sense. No land drop. That's a big yikes. I think I'll play Crusader. Might be a little greedy. And wait one more turn to sweep. But seeing me miss that land drop will probably not want to sweep the Crusader. Or probably won't want to let the Crusader stick around. <laughs> we'll see though. We'll see. Because if I can go Tajik in the next turn Judith, we can attack through the wall, which would be pretty good. Tap land, heck yeah. Let's go, dude. Land. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't do me like that. Alright, um... I think we just play the artist here, because there's probably a 90% chance we get swept. Even if we get both of these two down. Um, a sweeper would kill him and all the non-legendaries, but they would stick around because he'd be around until it resolves. So we'd still have some losses, but... You know, we'd have something. There it is. Lovely. <laughs> Man, standard's fun, guys. I don't know if you know. <laughs> Having the time of my life, dude. So I won't even get a card off of this, so... Probably even want to sack the Crusader. Hit face, because he's going to blink Narset anyway. Gets him one less activation. Cool. We got Tajik now. Synergies assembled. Uh, yeah, let's just go face, I guess. Because you're going to blink her. I could kill her. Pump the Enforcer. 
And then, yeah. So let her die. I'll play Luca, and then Agent of Treachery, and then Blink the Agent of Treachery, and then we scoop. Crazy how consistent an 80 card deck can be, right? <laughs> there it is. Standards fun. Okay. So our land colors are good. Curves a little... Uh, actually, that's fine. Him turn one, Crusader turn two. You could do worse. Against a Luris deck. Could be kind of awkward. We'll see, though. Because he'll probably have... I do like that we have Exile Removal for the Luris, though. But he'll probably have... Um, depending on what colors this is, they almost always have... Cheap removal. A forest. Okay, this could be something new. Oh, uh, no. Just the uh, enchantments deck. Okay, so maybe they don't have a ton of removal. That could be good for us. I will go Crusader because I need to draw an untapped land, hopefully. Otherwise, I can just Dire Tactics what he plays. If it's a Paradise Druid, I'll be sad. On the bright side, this means they probably won't have a ton of removal. Yikes, that is really good against my Hero Precinct 1 deck. <laughs> awesome. That's what we wanted. <laughs> At least she is Menace. At least I can exile that thing. That is just the worst thing we could have seen on the other side of the battlefield. <laughs> okay. Um, Enforcer's a good draw as well. Ooh, didn't have the mana for it. Good thing I drew this land. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just do it now. Cool animation. That's pretty neat. Yeah, let's just attack with the one that won't die for free. Stone Coil Serpent, man. If you tax, maybe I can race. That'd be kind of cool. Unless he has the thing that makes it start doing damage based on uh, toughness <laughs> rather than attack or power. That could be something. Hmm. So what am I hoping to draw here? Destroy target creature power four or greater. So he's the one targeting, so I couldn't even kill Serpent that way. Huh, yeah, probably Hero and Fireblade Artist just to burn him out. Maybe some Judith thrown in there. Okay, so... Untap land. Untap basic. Nope. I want to untap basic into two drops so I can play two, two drops. That's not happening. So, Kadire Tactics U. That seems like a waste when you have a Loris out there. So, I could play a Judith. The next turn, Enforcer and Crusader. Or if I draw an untapped land, Tajik and Enforcer. Seems fine. No attacks, I'll take a turn off. It's fine. That's fine. So what are you gonna do, opponent? What you got? Okay, it's just gonna try to kill me in the air, I'm assuming. There's three glaring Aegises. Bold. Or you could just keep him back as a blocker forever. <laughs> Sentinel's eyes seems good. I would have put that on him. What? I mean, lifelink, sure, but like. <sighs> okay. Okay, so they're both attacking. Makes sense. Still making lava noises all the way over here. <laughs> it's funny. Alrighty then. I'm gonna kill myself with my own crusader. That's a land. That's a land. Mana base is pretty painful in this one, I'll give you that. So I'm going to kill this. If he has God's Willing, we lose. Sound like a plan? 
We lose! That was a fun game. I don't know about you guys, but I love standard. And the way the mana works, I can't even play him now. That's pretty messed up. Play a Crusader. Venerable Knight can block the Serpent. Guess I have to draw two more Dire Tactics or something. Does he have a Flash creature? Okay, that would have been awkward. Solid footing, there it is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we got a decent curve out here. We just need a red source. Pretty bad. But we have a lot of those. I think this is, what, the third game in a row we've been on the draw? So that's a bomber. Don't worry, the other two games were just Luca curving out perfectly, so you didn't miss anything. <laughs> Uh oh, flash time. Cool. And essence scatter or quench. Ooh, brazen borrower. Growth spiral. Brazen borrower. There it is. If you guess enough things, you're bound to get it right. That's how math works. Cool, any three drops I'm not wanting to trade with? Can't think of any. Let's go. What you got? Shark Typhoon. Okay, this seems like Team Wreck, just without the red right now. That's my guess at this point, unless Flash just has that now. Uh, I kind of want that card, but red mana is more important right now. It is awkward that even if I draw a red source, I can't double spell yet. So he probably just has an ambusher now, which Kudro can help kill. That'd be cool. Ooh, thanks, deck. So... Let's just play him, see what happens. I can play this tapped. If I draw any untapped land, I can go Icon, Fireblade Artist. Or heck, Icon of Antrist, do you run Hero into the Ambusher? That's fine. No Typhoon for you! Well, at least it resolved. No attacks. There it is. Like clockwork. Alright, what are you going to play, Anissa? Don't have a breeding pool to untap, so that's fine-ish. Bad for us, but still. Could be worse. Shark Typhoon, huh? Okay, make a dude. Makes sense. Um, so play Firebreed Artist, and now just with this trigger, I now have what I need to kill the Ambusher, which is pretty cool. I wish I had Shovel in this deck, or Shivil. I'm gonna call him Shovel. Just easier, funnier. To me, not to anyone else, just to me. <laughs> cool. So I think I want to kill him and then run out the artist, but then if he has another one, that's awkward. So I think I wait one more turn. Because then he could just run into another ambusher. That makes sense. Might as well kill him while I can. 
And then he flashes in a 3-1 flyer, and then we race. But, I need to get another hero trigger off of this. Boom, got him. How, what it was in your hand, dude? <laughs> Yorian again, who would have thought? I would have thought. We mulliganed, I'm on the draw again. I've been on the play zero times in five games. Let's see if I can turn it around. He has good sleeve taste at least. I'll give you that Mookie. I will give you that. Ooh. Um. Guess I'll play the red white land. And then Blood Crypt. Yeah. That works. Cool. Ooh. Let's attack. It's probably going to play an Omen. We have to be worried about uh, Omen of the Sun on turn three, because I could, this guy could just eat it for that, or Lady, this this Whammon. Could eat it from a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, dude, you've only had one effect. What what else were you going to have? <laughs> were you going to put Yorion in a blue light flash deck? I don't think so. It's Omen of the Sea. I'm not, <laughs> we're not impressed. <laughs> oh man. As you can see, the, the amount of Yoria index I played against have broken me. <laughs> I'm just a shell of a human being at this point. It's been one of those weeks too, you know? Where you feel like life is just uh, gut punching you repeatedly. And you're like, man, I would really appreciate to uh, not get punched in the stomach. And it's like, ah, I don't know, this is kind of fun for us. And I'm like, okay, man. You, uh, you keep doing your thing, I guess. I'll just try to did not puke. Did he just disconnect or something? What was that? So now if he goes Steam Vents, Clarion, I'm going to be awfully sad. That's for sure. Well, you should be able to choose your background, don't you think? Like what playmat, for lack of a better term, you can, you can use? I think that'd be pretty cool. Alright. I'm an artist. Fireblade artist, let's go dude, we're curving out. Shatter the sky, 100% chance. Got him, that was a fun game. I like magic. Hero, into enforcer. And then now if he just straight up plays the Yorion, we just lose I think. <laughs> That's sad. Not a very good deck, is it? Wow. Two of them in an 80 card deck. I wish I was as cool as you, opponent. I really do. This is why I don't like aggro. <laughs> but we have Castle Lockthwain going on, so that's pretty cool. It's a lucky draw for us. There's more of a chance of him drawing two of his four ofs than of us drawing this one of. So... We should count our blessings. And we have the black mana to use it, that's pretty cool. That's a sad draw. No, 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 no. Black, black. Draw. Fireblade artist. Anything. Cool, let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Indestructible, get out of town. And he's out of Clarion range. Combo assembled. Good draw confirmed. Opponent goes to seven. That's a land drop. That's a Shatter the Sky. Three Shatter the Skies, that's crazy, dude. So let's go white, black, black. I could take three damage again, I guess. Judith, that is a card that I own. It is in my library. So if he just plays Yorion and has no follow-up after my dire tactics. 
Let's do this before he draws. And then if I play Judith, I might just kill him. We may have a chance, guys. You're saying there's a chance. He already made his land drop. Yeah, yeah, resolve. <laughs> the animation was weird for a bit. <laughs> Castle Lockthwain pulling through for us, guys. Scry's bottom. Looks at Kudro. He's getting nervous. So yeah, plenty of draws that are lethal. Scry's the top. Let's play Enforcer first. Okay, cool. Gotti! Sorry, opponent. We did it! We beat a Yoria deck! <laughs> By golly. Three Shatter the Skies, dude. The deck is capable of winning a game. Another Yorion deck. What are the chances, man? Who could have seen this coming? Ooh. It's probably Team Elementals again. And I'm on the draw again. I think that's six games in a row. That's pretty neat. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty neat. Let's see what he's got. Dude, do a cool deck. Play like a Yarok deck, that'd be pretty neat. If you play Swamp, I will, uh, oh. And he ramped, that's scary for us. I think at this point I really do just need to, well, no I can't, Tajik. Just need to get Risen Reef off the board. Just gotta hold him back from ramping into Oblivion. And this way Omnath doesn't kill my Crusader. Otherwise I'd... Might have just played... Ha ah, ha! Got him! Dang it. Fabled Passage 2? What are the chances, man? Alright, let's hit a land drop. An untap land drop. Thank you. So I could play two enforcers or hero enforcer. That'd be kind of cool. Taking a lot of damage, but that's kind of to be expected from this mana base. Doing this pre-combat suboptimal, I suppose, but whatever. Keep up the Crusaders legendary, because it's it just does so many things. The one time legendary would be an upside for it. <laughs> so he could even just, well, Yorion blinking this doesn't kill anything because of 1-1. One, one. Kudro and an untapped land would be really cool for you to pull out right now, deck. I feel like I'd, I'd support you fully in that if you're willing to do that. Didn't crack the passage before, so maybe we wanted to hit a land drop there. So that's concerning. He probably has agents in hand, I'm imagining. Given the fact that he's playing Yorion. Plus this deck often decks itself with Risen Reef, so... <laughs> Mythos of Vadrock. What? <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, 80 cards. There's a lot of... A lot of things you're willing to try with 80 cards. Well, that's interesting. A non-pain land, a general's enforcer, a Tajik, doesn't do anything but he'll be a good blocker, next to I can go icon and enforcer, lovely. I'm going to have to splash green for Tristani, because <laughs> the meta is just all agents of treachery. <laughs> oh, standard. What have you done? Do, 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 do. you think this deck runs Luka, too? Because your curve usually ends up with Omnath or uh, Cavalier. Yeah, that seems, seems fair. You can't give it first strike at least. 
but he can just play Yorion and Blink the Agent, so... Judith, Enforcer. Attack for six damage. So now I have a blocker for Omnath. Who knows, dude? Maybe with the hasty damage and if Judith sticks around, maybe I can actually force through the last bit of damage. <laughs> um, if he plays Agent, we're super screwed. Linking it like might be a thing, but if he plays it pre-combat, then blocks can be real awkward. So, hoping he doesn't draw two of these in the top 20 cards of an 80 card deck. I've seen it happen though. He is drawing quite a few cards. What you got, opponent? Let's see it. Show me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If he attacked with everything, I was dead on board, right? No, he didn't force a good block. Mentor the Druid. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much dead on board. Deal one to his face. Off the Enforcer. And then he has two blockers. And then he steals my Judith. And yeah, so three blockers. If I draw Judith off the top, I might... Oh, never mind. Giving me hope. How dare you. How dare you, opponent. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can do eight. Um, oh, because it didn't get pumped anymore. Oh, it didn't have the enforcer. Interesting. Did I expect that to come into play? That's cool. So, the most damage I could do is Tajik Artist Knight or Artist Icon Knight. Tajik Icon. Well, Knight doesn't do anything, so. Yeah, it's gotta be Tajik Icon. Or Fireblade Artist Icon. No. Tajik Icon. Human. Show me human. Is that. Yeah, he goes to three. And then I'm dead on the crack back. That was actually a close game. Oh, man. This deck can do a lot of damage. A lot to itself as well. <laughs> Yorion again? Man. This is, uh... And I'm on the draw again. <laughs> sure. Keep this. Ditch. What do I get rid of? The Enforcer, I guess. Tajik? One of the lands? Yeah, I'm gonna draw. I can get rid of one of the lands. Steam vents. So it could be Jeskai or Elementals. Jeskai confirmed. I'm gonna play the Enforcer so that then if uh, I get an untapped land, I can survive a Clarion. Oh, lovely. At least now I have Fireblade Artist even if I don't hit a land drop to kill the Teferi. Cool. 
Gosh, who could wait for rotation, guys, right? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh no, did it crash? Oh, okay. Dude. <laughs> His loyalty was insane. Yeah, I definitely don't want to do that. Let's go Enforcer. If he wants to sweep two dudes, that's fine. Whatever. Looks like he might have a Brazen Borrower lined up. Or Omen. Probably Omen of the Sea. Got him! Two damage, bro. You'll never recover. I'd like to hit a land drop, please. 24 lands in the deck. 24. How many basics? Six basics. Seven that come in untapped for no pain. And 19 that come in untapped with pain. 19 or 20? 19, I have one temple, I believe. Yeah, one temple of silence. Like I said, I want the colors to work. What are you doing, opponent? What are you up to? Do so you have another omen? What's happening? Well, he hasn't had Fires or Luka, so that's a good start for us, I suppose. There's no Settle the Wreckage to play around. Let's pop Enforcer so we can fi survive a Clarion if Tajik gets hit by, like, uh, Elspeth Conquer's death or something. Because, uh, that's a thing. To the top, yikes. Cool. Get in for five. Part of me wanted Dire Tactics the uh, 04. So that Luca doesn't get him anywhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, I just said he didn't have fires. <laughs> How wrong I was. Okay, that could have gone worse for us. That could have gone worse for sure. So we can go... Fireblade Artist, Venerable Knight. Don't think I could afford to play around another Sweeper. So, let's hope. Because then I can go Kudro next turn. And that's one, two, that'd be four. Of course. <laughs> When don't they have it? And a Luka. Man. It's a fun time to be alive. I'll just, maybe I'll just post this just to show how much standards breaking my spirit. So you guys won't be mad if I, uh, I'm gonna do some historic videos. <laughs> and hopefully you guys can understand if, if I end up missing a video upload or something. Cause this is what it's been for almost every deck I've uh, I've been testing. It's just oh, you didn't kill them on turn five. Well, bummer. <laughs> it's just every game. <laughs> it's every game. I'm not even unranked. I went off of ranked. <laughs> I went off of ranked because um, I was running into too many Yorion decks, right? So I'm like, okay, maybe if we go unranked or maybe like a standard event, like that could be a thing. Or maybe I can I can have some sort of luck there. Nope, it's almost worse in unranked, which is like odd to me. Like why? Uh, do I go hero or crusader? I think I go hero. Let's go hero. And then do I go Tajik or? Mm, I think I go Tajik, just to protect from a Clarion. <clears throat> yeah, before it was all Luris decks, which was fine, because I could go over the top of them. What? Please banishing light in these decks. Okay. Um, So I can't go Crusader and Venerable Knight. So I think I'll just play Crusader and then a tapped Triome. So 
So that was rude. Banishing light, huh? Yorion's interesting with banishing light. I guess if they have a planeswalker, you play Yorion and then... Well, Menace isn't very good against that. <laughs> Fireblade Artist, Kudro, thank you. Still feels like a sweeper deck, so I kinda wanna play these two. But playing Tajik and not attacking feels so bad. Hmm. But if I play Kudro, we just lose it all to a Clarion. Um. Well, that's awkward. I was hoping I could still play him. So I could go Crusader and Fireblade Artist. I'll just play it safe. Next turn, I could attack for a Bajillion. Unless he makes two more 1-1s. One then things get awkward. Uh, the dude that makes my legendary guy is indestructible. That'd be pretty cool, not gonna lie. He's probably just gonna play a Luka right now. Okay, <laughs> title this video, Man. <laughs> Man's will to live slowly gets broken <laughs> by standard. Thanks, Watsy. In parentheses. <laughs> Maybe this, I, I, I'll post this, I think, here's what I'll do. I'll post this so it can be cathartic for you guys, right? Because I imagine I'm not the only one having this experience. Where you want to play something that isn't a Yorion deck. <gasps> it's happened, guys. Dreams can come true. And we're on the play? What? One in seven games? That's amazing! That's incredible, guys. Maybe there is hope for this world. But yeah, maybe I'll just play this as a form of catharsis for anyone looking to... <laughs> you know, misery loves company sometimes. Priest. That's a scary card. Yeah, I don't want that to stick around. I'm gonna kill that one for sure. Looks like he just forgot to put his uh, Luris in the, in the companion slot. So we'll Dire Tactics right now. And then we can double spell next turn. That's a fine draw, I'll take it. With the Crusader out, I'm fine hitting land drops like that. Because I'm getting enough spells already. So I could go Enforcer and probably Dire Tactics is next. Yep, <laughs> called it. Called it. So it won't get exiled, which is a bummer. But at least we'll have something. Judith. Heck yeah, man. So I already have two white. Um, black man is important. So I think I like... Dire Tactics and Generals Enforcer. Oh yeah, you definitely sack it in response. If your precinct one was out there, we'd be doing so fine. We just gotta hit. Well, Judith is kind of a anthem effect. Either of these two will be really good draws as well. I just want a clock to match because I am giving him a lot of cards, which is scary. So if I untap with these two next turn, we'll be doing things. Well, that's a mayhem devil. Bummer. If I keep Tajik around, though. She's just gonna pay two mana second food. Claim the first board. Oh, man. Yeah, that's fair. That's a ball buster. Why'd I have to say it, man? I always have to say, man, if I can keep these two around. <laughs> Alright, so I think I just attack for six this upcoming turn. I'm fine losing the Tajik for it. I only have one red source. Oh, I'm such a fool. Maybe they'll think I can give it first strike and get scared. Okay. 
So yeah, it only takes two sacks to kill the Tajik. But when I had this guy, we were safe. No longer the case. But yeah, junk food. It's neat to have you back, man. A lot of my decks would love to play against you. Interesting to have Priest of Forgotten Gods in here now. I don't remember that being a thing. I wonder what, what caused that to become a thing. Um... Guess we go Judith. He's gonna kill my Tajik in response. And then I play a Venerable Knight. And then it dies. So, good turn overall, I'd say. A spectacular turn. Cool. Yeah, because he drew a Fabled Passage, so. This is easy, easy kill. Ooh, he might wait. At least now if he wipes my board, I don't know. He'll probably claim my Judith. That'll be sad. We'll see. Wait, did he target my Judith? Ha! Huh. Is that what happened? <laughs> Cause I didn't see the ping go anywhere. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm definitely killing that Tajik now, bro. Cool, well, it saved one damage, I guess. That's a cat. And that's game. Cool. Yeah, maybe I'll just, I'll just put this video up as catharsis for you guys, being like, man, I'm not the only one suffering. Well, guys, that was the deck. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I don't know how you would, but... <laughs> Dire Tactics was good removal whenever it came up. Um, Icon might be a little too slow, I'm not sure. Stormfist Crusader does a ton of work. Kudro and Tajik were neat. They just had exactly the right pieces of removal at the time for them, so that's a bummer. But General's Enforcer and Tajik makes you feel safe. Maybe you need more 1-drops, in which case you would cut out the Tri-Lands, but even then I was still having mana problems with the Tri-Lands. But I saw some people playing, uh, what's that? I forget his name. One mana cost rare... Fervid Champion, yeah. Or maybe even just add a non-human in Night of the Ebon Legion or something. Um, I just wanted synergies to come together. Didn't really do it, it's too small ball. Um, sorry you had to see this, if I did end up actually posting this, but... <laughs> Let me know if it's cathartic for any of you. Otherwise, catch you in the next video. Hope you guys are enjoying Standard and your lives. Have a great day.